I got joy, and it's filling up my heart. You gave me a brand new start with new mercies every morning. I got peace, no one can understand, and the world can't comprehend. It's only by your love, by your love, I've got joy. Oh, I've got
much for bringing each and every one of us out of, out today, Lord, and tonight, God, just to celebrate, Lord, the work that you've done, God, in all of us, God, and just um, for your hand moving so mightily upon each and every student, Lord, and God, we just thank you so much for all that you've done, Lord, and you are truly more than anything that we'll ever need, Lord. So I just pray that your spirit would be moving tonight, Lord, that you would bless this ceremony, Lord, and that you would get all the glory. And in Jesus' name we all pray. Amen. Amen. I believe the best days of Calvary Chapel are in front of us. Let's hear it for our worship team here. You may be seated. You may be seated. It is such a great joy to be a part of raising up the next generation of Calvary Chapel pastors and leaders. And you're going to be blessed beyond measure when you see from coast to coast these young people stepping forth in faith and in ministry and moving forward. In 2 Timothy chapter 2, at verse number 1, it's sort of the theme scripture for CBI. You therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And the things that you have heard from me among many witnesses, commit these to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. From the beginning of the Calvary Chapel movement, it was a Moses model of leadership. And Moses would pour into a young man by the name of Joshua, and that mantle would pass on to him. We look at Jesus. How did he raise up the disciples? He hung out with them. They were a part of his ministry. And then that gospel message would go around the world. When we come to the Apostle Paul, he would pour out his life into the next generation who would pour it into the next generation until we get to where we are here tonight, the next generation of Calvary Chapel pastors and leaders. Isn't that awesome? And there are now CBIs that are springing up all over the world, and uh, we're getting ready to launch two more here in America. Uh, the first one's opening up in the fall in San Jose with Pastor Mike McClure. And uh, that's very exciting because the government tried very hard to shut that church down, and there's going to be a CBI there. Is that not awesome? And then in the spring of 2023, and they're here with us tonight, Calvary Chapel, Kauai. So uh, how awesome is that? And then, of course, we have Calvary Chapels in uh, Guatemala, in Peru, in Israel, in uh, the Republic of Georgia. We have one in the Philippines. We're getting ready to open up two more in the Philippines. And also we're building one in Uganda. So uh, exciting things that are happening around the world. And I also would like to invite you tomorrow. Uh, we're having the Next Generation Conference because what the Lord has laid on my heart a number of years ago is, I'm 66 years old, I need to be pouring into the next generation and raising up that next generation of Calvary Chapel pastors and leaders. It's been such a thrill to be a part of that. One of the things that we started doing, and this is our second year, we have a conference all day tomorrow. Registration is from eight to nine but we have five speakers through the course of the day, and it's based on Elijah and Elisha, where Elijah got to the point where God asked him twice, what are you doing here? And Elijah says, I have been. I want to tell you something. God doesn't care about your has-beens. What he cares about is where you are today, and uh, God had a plan yet for Elijah, and that was to pour in to raise up Elisha for a double anointing of what Elijah had. And so that's going to be the basis of the conference with five speakers. And with that, here's the next generation here at Joshua Springs and uh, someone who definitely got a double portion and a double anointing of his dad, our assistant pastor, B.J. Heather.
You know, what an amazing thing it is to see each and every one of these CBI students and graduates. You know, going with Gerald to places, we just got back from Calvary Chapel, uh, Philadelphia, from the East Coast Pastors Conferences, and it's wild what the Lord can do through someone who's just willing to be moved by the Holy Spirit. You know, Pastor Gerald was just sitting there. He, he went there to the conference, not at any idea to start another CBI, but just to let people know that CBI is here if anyone wants to learn. And just sitting there, like he mentioned, they started one, another one in the Philippines, which will be open as well. And so it's an amazing thing. And, and Pastor Gerald shows it all the time. We shouldn't be looking backwards for the best times of Calvary Chapel. We have the same foundation and that, that strong foundation of reading through the word chapter by chapter, book by book, verse by verse. But we believe that the Lord has great things for the future. And if you look at every student here that was required to come to my services on Sunday and Wednesday, now it's been a blessing to see the Lord just grow in their lives and so much more talent than I ever had at their age. And just the amount of people that have poured in their lives and just to see what the Lord's going to do in them and through them is going to be amazing. So let's all just pray for them in this night. Lord, we are thankful for your goodness. Lord, we are thankful that you love us and that the best years of our life are ahead of us. Lord, we pray for each and every one of these students, these graduates, Lord God, that have sacrificed and dedicated this year of their life to go on the backside of the desert, Lord, just to learn more about you. And Lord, you've been so faithful to your people to show up and to teach them and to grow them. And Lord, we look at them and we are so excited to see what you're going to do. So Lord, would you bless them? Would you bless this night? Would you continue to give vision to the leaders of this church and to all the leaders in Calvary Chapel? And Lord God, let us just reach the world as the days grow darker. In Jesus' name, we all said, amen. God bless.
mighty fortress you go before us nothing can stand against the power of our god you shine in the shadows you win every battle nothing can stand against the power of
this day, Lord. I thank you for this time that we get to worship you, Lord. Lord, I just thank you for each person in this room, Lord God, each person with their personal relationships with you, Lord God, just that time alone that they get to spend with you, Lord God. In this time that, that we get to worship together, but we get to worship um, in the eyes of one, Lord. So I just thank you for this time, God. I, I just pray that you continue to bless this time, God, that you, that you use it, Lord God. Um, Lord, to, to fire us up about your kingdom, Lord God, to, to put the heart that you had for, for sinners, Lord God, for the sick and for the hurting and the broken, Lord God. I pray that you put that same heart in, our, in us, Lord God, and that we have the love of Christ, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Let's give him a hand. Is that awesome? So about six years ago, God spoke to a couple to be very generous with us and give us amazing building. And uh, when they were giving it to us, uh, he said, what do you think about a Bible college here? And it was around the same time that there was some differences going on in Calvary Chapel in part we're going just a little bit different direction. And so we ended up uh, calling together some Calvary pastors. Don McClure started the first Calvary Chapel Bible College. He was very instrumental. And by the way, he wanted to be here. He was going to close in prayer for us tonight, uh, but he and Gene couldn't be here. But his name's on all your diplomas, so you'd be happy about that. But in an afternoon in April, a number of Calvary Chapel pastors got together, and many of them are here still sitting with us tonight. And uh, we, we got together and took the best of the Calvary Chapel Bible Colleges that there had been through the years, through Horizon School of Ministry, CCBC, and others. Well, one of those pastors that was there, and that was the first time I ever met him, and uh, John Randall, he was there and immediately from day one has been a huge blessing and supporter, even helping us uh, build CBI. And if you've not been to our campus, it's on the uh, west end of town here. Google it. Uh, it's open. You'll be able to go in and see. It's an amazing, amazing facility. But John and Michelle have been so instrumental in Calvary Chapels, especially in raising up the next generation. Not only that, their son Joel is a graduate tonight. So... Uh, So when Joel signed up for Bible college, I signed up John to be our commencement speaker for tonight. So let's welcome Pastor John Randall. Well, good evening. I would like to begin by thanking my friend and colleague, Pastor Gerald Hagerman, and the leadership of the Calvary Bible Institute, our staff and faculty, the teachers, and all who have been involved in serving here, in raising up the next generation of leaders. They're truly living out Psalm 145, verse 4, that reads, one generation shall praise your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts. I would also like to commend all of our students, our graduates, for your commitment and your completion of the studies here at CBI, and also to all of the parents who supported and prayed for our students throughout the year. My name is John Randall, and I'm the pastor at Calvary Chapel in South OC, and I've been involved with CBI since its inception in September of 2016. And it's been a joy to see the growth and development of our students as this is now our fifth graduating class. Praise the Lord. In the Old Testament, the book of Isaiah, in chapter 6, verse 8, it reads, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? And I said, here I am, send me. When the prophet Isaiah was commissioned 
to represent the Lord. It was during a time of national crisis. King Uzziah had passed away. And with the void of leadership, the nation began to suffer. People were looking for answers. They were desperate for direction. Darkness was closing in, and the threat of war and captivity were coming, and quickly things began to unravel. And it was in that moment of national fear and uncertainty that Isaiah took his eyes off of his circumstances, off of himself, and he looked to the Lord for guidance. And it was when he looked up that he came to realize that the Lord was still in control. Although the nations raged and the people plotted a vain thing, Almighty God was still seated upon his throne, a throne of power, of majesty, of justice, of sovereignty, of grace, and of mercy. Isaiah was able to see the Lord in a way that he had never seen him before. He saw a glimpse of his glory as he watched the angelic host surrounding the throne of God and crying out, holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. From earth's perspective, the circumstances were a mess. And yet from heaven's perspective, the earth was full of the glory of God. Graduates, over the two semesters that you have attended CBI, it has been our prayer for you that in the midst of a world that is growing increasingly dark in depravity, that as you have applied your hearts to seek the Lord and study his word, that you have seen him in a way that you haven't seen him before and that you realize the Lord is in control and he has a plan and a purpose for your life. And that in every class you've taken and every paper you've written and every opportunity to serve and every song that is sung and every prayer that is prayed, that you would come to discover the wonder and the majesty and the beauty and the power of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But Isaiah had not only received a glimpse of God's glory but also a revelation of himself and personal imperfection and frailty. You see, there were things in Isaiah's life that he was unaware of. There was a need for self-confrontation, a work that had to be done within the prophet before there could be a work done through the prophet. There was a season of preparation, a time where Isaiah had to be forged in the refining fire of the Holy Spirit. And it was in that process that a light uncovered Isaiah's need for repentance. And when he saw the condition of his own heart, he was humbled, he was broken. In fact, he said that he was undone. Graduates, this time in your life has also been a season where the Spirit of God, no doubt, has graciously unveiled the areas in your life that perhaps in the past had stood in the way of personal usefulness in the kingdom of God, the Lord has used the hammer of his word to break through the hidden and hardened areas of your heart. He's used your instructors, your teachers to encourage and to equip you. He's used your fellow students like iron sharpening iron to prepare you and brought you to the place, hopefully you've seen this, that apart from Jesus, you can do nothing. But with Jesus, you can do all things. It was Robert Murray McShane that said, quote, It isn't great talents that God blesses, but great likeness to Jesus. When Isaiah had confessed and been cleansed of his sin, his ears were open. He was able to hear from the Lord, and the Lord asked the question, Who can I send, and who will go for us? And Isaiah humbly responded, and he said, Here I am. Send me. Lord, if you can use me, I'm available. And the Lord then commissioned Isaiah and informed him that his task and his calling, listen, it wasn't going to be easy. There would be challenges that he would face, but he would never be alone. And as you leave CBI and head out into your fields of 
harvest and ministry, we pray that you will take what you have learned and all of the wonderful experiences that you have had and you will apply them. That this time in your life has prepared you for the next step in your journey of faith. And what that looks like is going to be different for each one of you. It is tailor-made for you individually. There's no need to fear the unknown horizon or what's around the corner. Because listen, graduates, you are not going out alone. The Lord goes before you. The Lord has said, I will be with you always, even to the end of the age. And you've been given all things that pertain to life and godliness. You have the same power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead, alive and at work in your heart and life. And that's all you need. For it's not by might, it's not by power, but it's by His Spirit, says the Lord. And so I ask you, graduates, tonight, do you hear the voice of the Lord asking you, whom shall I send and who will go for us? If you do, then humbly respond with, here I am, send me. May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In Jesus' name. I get the honor of recognizing all the teachers who poured so much into these students. And so we're going to honor these teachers. Pastor Mark Avila. Pastor, <laughs> Pastor Bob Wagner. Pastor Gerald Hagerman. Pastor Sammy Martinez. <laughs> Pastor Trent Douglas. <laughs> Pastor Rob Douglas. <laughs> Pastor Nate Tyson. Pastor Craig Lindquist. <laughs> Pastor John Gundacker. Pastor Dave Shepherdson. <laughs> Pastor Mike Fulmer. <laughs> Pastor Gary Johnson. <laughs> Pastor Jack Merchill. <laughs> Pastor Steve Marquez. <laughs> and so many more who are, uh, some of them are here tonight, some of them are not here, but I'm gonna read these names fast or we're gonna be here all night. <laughs> Pastor Mike Rodriguez, Pastor Rich Hennessy, Pastor John Randall, Pastor Don McClure, Pastor John Mayer, Pastor Sandy Adams, Pastor Ron Hint, Pastor Dave Rose, Pastor Ronnie Breen, Pastor Daryl Spees, Pastor Hagen Miller, Pastor Ein D. Herrera. There's so many who have poured in. There's countless more names that I haven't read, um, but so many Calvary Chapel pastors and leaders have poured so many hours of Bible teaching and discipleship into this group. And so, uh, now that we've recognized these teachers, we also want to recognize, um, there's, there's something that happened that the students don't know about, but um, Dominic Hyden, um, he is the field rep for the state senator, Shannon Grove, is going to come up and give a presentation to our graduates. Hello, everybody. Uh, like he said, Dominic Hyden, I am the field representative for our state senator, Shannon Grove, uh, who is up in Sacramento on behalf of our area. Um, I'm so honored to be here tonight and to be a part of this, uh, this beautiful evening. Um, the, the graduates tonight, they've come from all over, um, and they've come to our beautiful state, uh, our at times chaotic state, uh, sometimes a state in desperate need of light. Uh, amidst the darkness, especially in Sacramento. Um, and I am so grateful 
that some of them have been called to stay in, in California, uh, to do the work of the Lord, and to hopefully bring about revival. Uh, because I have hope for our state to see God working. Uh, we do see God working uh, every single day. Uh, and so I have with me uh, certificates on behalf of the California State Senate for each of the graduates. Uh, and I will uh, I'll just read it briefly. Uh, it says, on behalf of the California State Senate, it is my pleasure to recognize, and then it has the names of the graduates, in honor of your Calvary Bible Institute graduation. Congratulations on this graduation. The program that you've taken has allowed you to study the Word of God and has equipped you with the tools necessary for the work of ministry. I am confident that your commitment to service will have a great impact on the world around you. Please accept my sincere congratulations and best wishes. Friday, June 3rd, 2022, Shannon Grove, Senator, 16th District. I've gotten to know many of the graduates over the last year. Um, it's been an honor and a privilege. And uh, just allow me to say one last time, congratulations. Thank you. At this time, we're going to play a slideshow prepared by the class of 2022 and uh, enjoy the memories together.
At this time, we're going to recognize each and every one of the graduates and uh, hand out their certificates. Our first graduate of the evening is Daniel Brumman. everyone. My name is Daniel Baruman. I'm 
I'm originally from Downey, California, and I will be uh, sent out to Santa Cruz later this month. And I uh, just want to thank all of you for coming here. I know it means a lot to everyone graduating. Devin Logan Blanco. Good evening, everyone. Thank you all for coming. Thank you for blessing us with just a sacrifice of love that every single one of you have given all of the students here. Everyone here knows the love because we all know the Savior who loved us first. And we thank you for the support as well as to encourage the students. We knew the gospel. He revealed it to us. And now we're going to go out and preach the gospel of him who pulled us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Love you all. Kieran Bolton. Wow. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm Kieran Bolton. Um, I'm from Fredericksburg, Virginia. Um, I'm headed to Reno, Nevada after this to help with Calvary Chapel Magazine. Um, I just want to thank all of our leadership here for individually pouring into us um, these last 10 months. Silas Breen. Um, my name is Silas Breen. I'm from Harrisonburg, Virginia, um, and I'm going to be heading out to School of Missions and then back out here after that for um, in, an internship. Um, but I just wanted to thank this, this church body. Um, I, I know uh, quite a few of you showed up, and uh, it can be an, an interesting and maybe scary thing to, to come from your home church, and as I know most all of us did. Um, but you guys were just so welcoming and so, and so loving, and your heart for the Lord and, and your heart to, to see the lost saved um, was really encouraging and, and, and really beautiful transitioning from my home church to, to this one and just carrying that, that heart of love through. So thank you all so much, and thank you so much to the, to the leadership at CBI. Um, the students are beyond blessed for every single one of you, and you guys are such a blessing to us. Josie Bromby. Hi, um, I'm Josie Bromby. I'm from Mission Viejo, California, and I have the privilege of staying here to work in kids' ministry. Um, yeah. I, I would just like to thank my family for supporting me throughout this entire amazing adventure that God has called me on. And then um, my friends here at CBI who have become my family and the staff and, of course, the pastors who have just poured so much into all of our lives. Um, and, of course, to Gerald and Marilee for letting me stay and then continue to be a part of what's happening here at JS. And finally, God for, for choosing me, of all people, to continue his work. It's just such a blessing, and, and I just would like to thank all of them. Brody Coulson. Awesome. Um, my name is Brody. I'll be continuing serving up in Calvary Chapel Capitola in the Santa Cruz area as helping out in the youth ministry. And I'm so blessed by every one of you. I'm so blessed for all the love and all the prayers. I'm so thankful for CBI. You guys are 
an amazing family. I love all of you, and I'm so excited. Araceli Campos. Hi everyone, my name is Araceli. I'm from Watsonville, California. And since becoming a believer, the Lord put a deep desire in my heart to do missions. So I will be going to school of missions and then coming back here. Keaton Click. Oh my goodness. Um, my name's Keaton Click. Um, I'm from Torrance, California. And God has blessed me with CBI and with long lasting friends and with pastors who have poured deeply into our lives. Uh, later this summer, I will be going to Tooele, Utah, and I'm blessed to be able to be involved in that ministry. Uh, and there, there's just a couple of people I want to thank, and I'll make it quick, I promise. Um, I, want to, I want to thank the people that go unnoticed. One is David Enos who, although he's on stage, yeah, let's, let's please give him a hand. This man has slaved for us and deals with our craziness, um, but most importantly, he loves us like no one else on campus and no one else here, um, and he's done so much for us, and I want to thank you uh, for your specific pouring into my life, which I very much appreciate. And then two people, Randy and Kelly Hart, who lead the addictions ministry at JS and out in 29. They have blessed me so dearly by giving me opportunity. They have become my friends. We have gone through crazy experiences together and I appreciate their friendship and of course my family. But thank you guys, God bless. Israel Cox. My name is Israel Cox. I'm from Lancaster, California. I'm 17 years old. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm the youngest. I didn't act like it, but I was. Um, I get the privilege of staying here and serving in children ministry. Um, but I just want to thank all the teachers um, who poured into our lives, coming out every week, pouring into us all the time. And same thing with the JS staff and the JS congregation, like just just you guys being there for us and praying for us. Praying for us has just been such a help in all of our lives. And I want to thank my family for coming. Um, uh, yeah, thank you. Sakai D. Herrera. barely tall enough for this. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Sakai. Um, I'm from Santa Clarita and I'll actually be going up to San Francisco area to help at the Sozo Center. Um, I just want to thank my family uh, for being here and just supporting me, but also uh, just the ladies who have mentored me here. You guys mean so much to me and I love you. Michael Fuel. Yeah. Well, my name is Michael Fuel. I came from Hemet, California. I'm planning on returning there to serve in the ministry. And I just want to give a special thank you to all the mentors here at CBI who have raised me up and everyone else here. It, we know it means a lot, and thank you.
Mitchell Fuel. Hi, my name is Mitchell Fuel. I'm also from Hemet, California. The person who was just up here was my brother. He's my identical twin. But <laughs> yeah, in all seriousness, I just wanted to thank the awesome and incredible staff here at CDI and all the teachers who poured into our lives. It, it really ministered to me and means a lot. Uh, I can't wait to go back home and serve, but I also wanted to thank my family for making it all the way out here from Hemet. Uh, and especially you, Dad. I love you. Ozzy Galvin. Good evening, guys. My name is Ozzy. I'm from uh, Indio, California, and I'd like to first thank the Lord for this opportunity and uh, just to see the restoration he's brought into my life. Uh, and besides thanking all the teachers and everybody who's poured into my life and in my, in my heart, <clears throat> I just want to thank Janelle and my daughters because uh, they gave me the courage and, and the strength really to uh, see this through, uh, and as well as the people who donated the home or, or the building that uh, has given us the opportunity to be there and spend these 10 months and dive into the world. Into the world. Um, but I'm going to be going into uh, Morongo, California, which is like 20 minutes away, and I'll be leading a church down there as a senior pastor. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Naomi Garber. Wow, okay, hi guys. <laughs> um, my name's Naomi, I'm from Corona, California, and um, I just wanna thank the Lord, first and foremost, for just bringing me here to CBI because it has been the most amazing experience ever, and I'm so thankful that I've got, that I even have a CBI family. Um, and I also wanna thank my parents, even though I went to CBI and kinda disappeared, um, <laughs> Uh, they've just continually um, gave me support and love, so thank you guys. And also a special shout out to all the ladies who have mentored um, us girls, um, even in the women's ministry. I don't know if Miss Shelby's here, but you're amazing. And um, yeah, just thank you all for coming. Noah Geraldson. I'm from uh, Beaumont, California, and first and foremost, I just want to thank the Lord that I'm even here right now. Oh, this is all a leap of faith on here. Now, I also just want to thank all the people here, people here, all the teachers in this church, just for I just I don't know where to start. Just for pouring their hearts out into us. I just want to thank just thank all these amazing people right here, here just for being that family. Just for me, and just also want to thank my family who is here also just for supporting me. Me, I just so thankful that I could be here. Here, just was a life changing experience for me. Yeah, just think, say thank you. Ryan Hennessy.
Hello, I'm Ryan Hennessy. I'm from Vero Beach, Florida. Um, I just want to thank the Lord for revealing to me over and over again that I could do nothing ap good apart from Him. I could do nothing good apart from Him and just revealing that to me over and over again. And I just, I just want to thank, first I want to thank the, all the CBI leaders and the church leaders here that, that uh, in, in the midst of um, just having to deal with me, that they, that they, they really pushed me. They, they really pushed me in the, in the ways of the Lord and to serve Him, um, not just with my mouth, but, but with my walk with Him. And I'm just so grateful for that and, um, and for the teachers just pouring into us and, and really just, just identifying with, with us um, and, and just like picking us up. And I just want to, thank them and and thank all of you guys for for pouring into us and um just just to talk with you every every sunday or wednesday and just to just to fellowship and um you guys are so so encouraging to me and i just thank you kayla jepson Hello, um, I'm Kayla. I'm from Leesburg, Florida. <laughs> She's my roommate. Um, I just want to give a special shout out to my grandma who's watching it on YouTube. She couldn't make it, but she just led me back to the Lord with dedicated prayer. Um, She's my best friend. But an also special shout out to Sakai and Otiseli because they've put up with me for 10 months. And their love has truly changed me. So thank you for coming. Eli Coble. I'm Eli Coble. I'm from Glen Burnie, Maryland, um, and it's just been such a blessing to be here. A uh, special shout out to the twins and Noah. Those guys have stuck with me through the entire time, and it's been such a blessing to be with them. Um, I'll be going to Rosarito, Mexico for a school of missions in the summer, and after that, I will be having the blessing of planting a church with my father in Montgomery County, Maryland. So just thank you. Jade Cook. Hello, I'm Jade Cook, and I'm from Irvine, California, and I will be heading out to a Calvary Chapel in Houston, Texas. And um, I just want to thank the Lord for all he's done in my life and all he's going to do. And I also want to thank my friends and family for all their love and support, and especially for their prayers. Macy Lee. My name is Macy Lee. I'm from Laguna Hills, California. And after this, I'm going to be going to the School of Missions, and then I get to come back here um, to be an intern. Um, and I just want to thank my family for all of your support. I love you guys so much. And I thank um, all of the leadership here 
um, at Joshua Springs and Calvary Bible Institute for just constantly pouring into us. And um, I want to thank all of my CBI classmates who have really become my family. I love you all so much. Um, but most importantly, just the Lord for his faithfulness um, in this season. And it's been such a blessing. Bella Mosier. I'm from Ronit Park, and I'm going to be going to the school of missions, but I just want to thank my family for coming out here and supporting me. Savannah Navarro. I'm Savannah. Um, I'm from Tustin, California, and I just, <laughs> I just really want to thank the Lord. Um, he's done such a amazing work in all of us, and uh, yeah, it's just been incredible. Um, I want to thank leadership, all of you guys, and and specifically worship leadership because they've just grown me so much, and it's just been incredible um, to see God's hand in all of it. And um, I want to thank my three roommates, Macy, um, Josie, and Kieran. <laughs> um, I love you guys so much, and you have just been so important to me. And I want to thank my family for all of your guys' support, and I love you guys so very much. Um, I Afterwards, sorry, um, I will be headed to Houston, Texas um, to intern there over the summer. Thank you. Zach Neely. Hi there, my name is Zach. I'm from Ridgecrest, California. Uh, you, you know, my plan after CBI is to go and take a long nap. You know? but, uh, in all seriousness, I don't know what I'm doing after this season at CBI, but I'm so excited, as everyone's expressed, to celebrate not a work that was done on our own, but a work of God's spirit in our hearts and lives, and the accomplishment that he was able to do in that. So. Mothers, brothers, sisters, fathers, thank you so much for pouring into us. Because by the grace of God, we can, as the next generation, say, God is faithful and he's worthy to be praised. John Sublime. John Seguin, and I'm from Garden Grove, California, and I'll be going to Washington uh, to be a worship leader and to serve, and then, but I just want to thank you guys for being here, and thank you guys for uh, just being next to our sides, and um, as CBI, and just the uh, season that we went through, but it's all because of God, it's none of us, and just because, like a year ago, I got saved, and, and then it was just God working in a life. And so I'm just so thankful for that. And now I get to marry Jordan Henry. And so, so <laughs> 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 
Jordan Schaefer. Thank you all so much for coming. My name is Jordan. I'm from Philadelphia. I'm going to Salmon, Idaho to serve in youth ministry. And all, all I would like to say is, is Jesus is coming back soon. And until he does, we will serve him faithfully and we will be the body of Christ. Thank you. Jacob Slava. Hello, uh, I'm Jacob Slama. Uh, I'm from Palm Desert, California, uh, and I'll be um, heading over to the Garden Fellowship in India for full time after uh, CBI. And I uh, just want to thank, you know, all the leaders of CBI, everyone who who steps out in faith and does that for us. <clears throat> and uh, you know, they they all need your prayers um, because. You know, when you when you're working for the Lord, the enemy comes and uh, it comes after you. And we've all experienced so much, you know, sharpening and chastening you know, of the Lord while we're at CBI. And uh, you know, just praise God for the work that He's done in all of us. We've all have come so far in 10 months. And so I want to thank my family for coming. Mom, I love you. Pops, I love you. And uh, praise God. <laughs> yeah. Lydia Spees. My name is Lydia Spees. I'm from Corona, California. Um, after this, I'm going to be going to San Diego to serve at my home church along with my parents. Um, and I just want to praise and thank the Lord for this place and these people. My life has been changed forever by the glory and the grace of God. And um, I owe it all to him. And my relationship through this place and through these people and through all the leadership here through the grace of the Lord, my life and my relationship with the Lord has deepened in ways I never thought it could. And I'm so excited to see what God does next in my life and everyone's lives here. I love you all so, so much. Samantha Yoakum. I'm Samantha Yoakum. I'm from Livingston, Montana, and um, God has put on my heart to go to Oshkosh, Wisconsin for the summer, and um, I just want to thank him for bringing me here, and um, throughout my life, he's just shown me his faithfulness and his love. Um, I just thank my family for always supporting me and loving me throughout my life, and for making a way for me to get here, and um, I just want to thank all my friends from CVI. <laughs> You guys, <laughs> I love you guys incredibly so much, and um, I just thank the Lord for every single one of you, and um, I just thank all of our teachers. You guys have poured into me so much, and I've learned so much about the Lord from you, and I just pray that I can have the same heart to love people and to share his word with them, and I just thank you guys so much. <laughs> God bless you guys. <laughs> Donovan Zabel. Hi, I'm Donovan Zabel, and um, I just want to thank God for just this privilege and opportunity to even go through this program and to just to be brought here. 
um, to be one of his, I just have to thank um, my wife, Harmony Zabel, or, um, for just helping out with the kids and just being so faithful to our family and just allowing this to happen as well. I want to thank just the leaders and pastors here who have just been a great example in this church family. I want to thank um, Sean and Faith Molina for just helping us out. Guys, you have been so awesome, and we want to be here as well. And uh, thank you guys so much. Oh, I'll be going to Elko, Nevada to serve as their youth ministry. The following five graduates finished their coursework halfway through semester and have been serving for the last six months. Michael Hacker. Well, first, I want to thank the Lord for redeeming my life, uh, adding to my life such a value and such a purpose that it once uh, did not have. Uh, me and Ozzy actually come from a, a men's home. Uh, we were once enchained, we were in darkness, but the Lord has uh, spared us, the Lord has had mercy upon us, and I want to thank Monty, who was head of that men's home, who put up with me and who helped me, and who opened the door and led me to CBI. I thank you, Gerald, for graciously opening the door for me to come into CBI. I thank you to all the staff, I thank you to David. Uh, they've, they've, they've housed me, they've, they've fed me, they've taken good care of me. And I thank you for all the uh, people here that have loved me and that have encouraged me and pushed me forward and uh, just allowed me to see something uh, uh, worth living, living for. And y'all have encouraged me to go forward and to push forward in the calling that God has put on my life. Currently, I'm in New York uh, to do a, a church plant. And um, it is a battleground, it's a war zone, but the Lord has been faithful and it's slow going. So I encourage you to just continue to pray and we're just waiting for the Lord to establish us and to give us a place where we can really be planted so the gospel can be reached out there in that dark city. So I love you, and I love you students. I love every single one of you. Thank you for putting up with me and for all my mess. But I am so thankful for this church. Y'all have blessed me, uh, and I'm eternally indebted uh, to this place. Y'all have never, you'll never know uh, what you've done uh, for me and how you've pushed me and how you've given my life uh, such a value and such a meaning. So I thank you very much. Aiden Meadows. My name is Aiden Meadows, and I'm from British Columbia, Canada. And I thank you all for this great opportunity, and I thank you teachers, because your teachings were just so amazing. And I just thank all the students as well for pushing me, because this could have been a really boring year if you let me be me. Um, and I'll be heading back to my home in British Columbia, Canada, and when I get there, I'll be contacting some numbers about getting one of these CBIs up there. Thank you. Joel Randall. <laughs> My name is Joel Randall. I'm originally from San Clemente, California. And over the last six months and um, into the foreseeable future, I've been here serving with the children's ministry and with our extension campus out in 29 Palms. And um, in this upcoming semester, I'll be able to help out a lot more and just uh, with leadership at CBI and just helping facilitate this incredible work that God has done. And I want to thank my parents so incredibly much for their patience and their constant support when I did not deserve it. And I want to thank Pastor Gerald and Pastor David and all the staff here for the incredible amount of opportunity that they've given me. Again, do not deserve it. I want to thank my teachers um, for the incredible wisdom that you've, you've poured out and you've been so open and 
and just pouring out of yourself to us. And I want to thank all of uh, my fellow students and the love that you've poured out to me, the examples that you've been to me. And um, most importantly, I want to thank the Lord, because again, I don't deserve any of that. And it is only, only by the grace of God that I get to stand before you today. Thank you so much. Hannah Rutledge. moment. Okay. Um, thank you guys so much. Um, I'm Hannah from Montana. Um, I'm actually, I'm actually going to be going, well, I've actually been serving in um, Colorado, Broomfield, Colorado at Reach Church. Um, God is working amazingly there. And I just want to thank every single one of you guys for just the blessing you've been in my life and just being able to just grow spiritually and grow closer to all these lovely, amazing CBI students and even just the beautiful body of Christ that we have here. Um, I want to thank all my teachers. I want to thank all lovely church staff and just everyone here. You guys have made this opportunity something that I will be able to look on, and I'm, I'm eternally grateful. It was, it was for the Lord. God did it, and I just want to thank every single one of you guys so much. Thank you. Acacia Scott. Keisha Scott. I'm from British Columbia, Canada, and I have, since graduating CBI in January, been interning at Saving Grace World Missions. I've known for a long time that God is calling me uh, to long-term missions with the Muslim people. So I just got back from the Middle East um, on a vision tour there, and I'm really excited to continue training up to go there, and that looks like moving to Peru next month to continue hanging out with missionaries and get more Bible training. So class, thank you so much. You guys were so cool. And we did it. We, we made it through. And I was, I was reflecting on CBI, and I thought, it's like boot camp. And now we're ready for war. Now we're going into the field. And everything we have, everything we need, we can find in what we've been studying all year. So let's go, and we'll fight the good fight, and we'll stand, and we'll purpose in our hearts, like Daniel said, to, to go there for and make disciples of all nations. We have one more graduate this evening. Uh, Tyler Gull was pulled out of the uh, studies at Calvary Bible Institute because he was needed in the ministry of Joshua Springs Calvary Chapel. So he has patiently and diligently completed his coursework. And so after three years, he has finished Chuck Tracks <laughs> and is ready to graduate. So Tyler Gall. This is awesome, guys. It's great to be here again. Um, first, I just want to thank the Lord for just uh, bringing me here, for redeeming me from the person who I was. Uh, I just want to share a verse with you real quick. I wish I had it memorized, but it says in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11, when I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. And that was me, and that's all of you who are graduating now. We were once little children, but now we know the Lord, and we're going out, we're doing bigger, better things for him, for his kingdom, for his glory, so my encouragement is to keep that up, and that's where the Lord has us, so thank you guys, and thank you, Lord. Now the CBI worship team is going to lead us in one more song, so if we'll stand, we'll get ready for worship.
generations, Lord God, in a number innumerable, Lord God, to worship you. So in this time, God, we, we not only worship you in song, Lord God, but Lord, we purpose in our heart, Lord God, to, to run after you, Lord God, and your plan for our life, Lord. Our, our lives are not our own, Lord, and so I just pray, God, that from this moment, Lord God, that you send us, Lord God, with the power of your Holy Spirit that we need, in order to do anything good in this life. So I just pray that your hand be upon us, Lord God, and guide us, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Worship team, let's stay up here. We're probably gonna ask you to sing that one more time at the end. Um, but I have the privilege of doing this really quickly. We're all witness of what the Lord did, what Jesus redeemed, and what the Spirit has done these 10 months of Bible college. God has raised up a generation to go and serve him. And so I speak now on behalf of the RAs and the staff, on behalf of the uh, women's mentors, 
on behalf of the teachers at Calvary Bible Institute and the people who have supported and donated so much, we charge you, graduates, there, uh, before God, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will judge the living and the dead at his appearance and at his kingdom, preach the word. Be ready in season and out of season, convince, exhort, and rebuke with all long suffering and teaching. The time will come when they will no longer endure sound doctrine. But according to their itching, their own desires, they will have itching ears and they will heap up for themselves teacher. And they will turn their ears aside from the truth and be turned aside to fables. But you, be watchful in all things. Endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, and fulfill your ministry. You are Christ's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works that he prepared beforehand that you should walk in them. So graduating class of 2022, fulfill your ministry. Amen. We're now going to have Pastor Mark pray out the night. All right. Before I close this in prayer, I have one quick announcement. Ozzy, I think you still owe me some assignments, right? I don't, I don't think you turned in all your assignments yet, so let's pray. Father, I thank you so much for the privilege and the opportunity to pour into these young men and women. Father, seeing the calling upon their lives, seeing the work that you've done through them and will continue to do through them. Father, it is my prayer, it is our prayer, Lord, that you would create within them a hypersensitivity to your presence. So when they go to those places and to those, those meetings and those houses, those churches, and those cities, Father, that you would use them in a powerful and mighty way, that you would, through them, draw men and women unto you. We pray, Lord, for the outpouring of your spirit. We pray for a mighty work to be done, and we thank you. And it's in your son's name we pray. Amen. So now how many believe that the best days of Calvary Chapel are before us? So is that not awesome? We love all of you so much. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In Jesus' name we said, amen. amen. And we do thank you all for coming very much. And again, we do want to invite you tomorrow, registration 8 to 9. We have great teaching, worship all day long. Many of our students are still with us. It's going to be an awesome time together, so we invite you to come. And I think we'll sing it one more time, all right? So, and with that, when it's done, you can all come, give them a hug. And uh, we're so thankful for all you parents and family. God bless you.
and may the Lord bless you and keep you and may he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you peace. Thank <laughs> you.